See, in the tanker yanker world, sometimes it's a little bit the same, and then next time it's boom, everything changes. You can't you can't be stuck in one way when it comes to trucking out here. You gotta go with the flow and be prepared to be like, oh, it's day. But now it's going to turn to night just like that, y'all. So you have to be ready to just go with the flow and whatever comes at you, just be prepared to handle it. But y'all know it's your girl, just trucking and Tati, coming to you with another video. So let's get into it, y'all. What's up, y'all? Just want to shout out Jason at Food Liner. He held me back into that dock. He spotted me and everything just to make sure everything was good. Y'all remember the last time I was here in the nighttime? It'd be chaotic. But you know they say driver truck drivers don't help each other anymore? That's a lie. That's a lie. That's right. What's up? Okay, where are you headed now, Jason? You done for the day? Yeah, I'm done for the day. I'm going back into the yard in Langhorn. Okay, and I'm about to head to OJ's. Y'all know I hate OJ's, but I'm about to drop this dirty trailer off to be washed and then head home myself. Thank you, Jason. All right, holla. See y'all. See you on YouTube. You sure will. Okay, y'all. What's up? Uh, Today is August 2nd. I totally skipped august 1st i totally skip august 1st to be honest and i'm looking because i don't know what this is so yeah i just had to go off course because this cop oh i don't know if this is a cop or not it's like a it was a it's definitely a police car because you know when they have the ford um suvs and the police marking is like kind of scraped off of it so he looks like he's patrolling the area but he pretty much pulled up to right here where um we're parked at across from the the open lot that used to be like a shipping area so crazy story right i finally met the overseer of the property so apparently the owner of the property died right and i don't know if you all remember that property where um i said i was parking and the the other truck driver he pretty much put his car in front in the parking spot that i would have had in front of him or behind him to make sure i don't park in that spot now the funny thing about that particular truck driver and he's a jb hunt truck driver right apparently he doesn't live around here so there's been like several complaints made made against him because he actually sleeps in the truck so it's not like he's parking the truck and then um leaving he legit sleeps in the truck and i've seen it multiple times where i come home he's in the truck or the, the truck is on and all of that right so he apparently ha um has a history of littering and that 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 just upsets me because here you are stopping another truck driver from parking freely and i actually live in the neighborhood i live right around the corner right like a two minute walk from here right this is a dead, dead end area you're trying to block me and mess up my chances of parking in the back to be discreet. So I had to park in front, right, where I'm pretty much out in the open. But the overseer told me that I won't have any problem parking right here. And he just wants me to not block the driveway because he, he pretty much stays from where he is and watches and can look across to see it. So I'm like, okay, cool. So me and him actually spoke and he knows I live around here. So I don't know if probably he, they called um the police on that man again you know that can create an issue for me itself because the police may not be um they're not gonna i'm trying to find a word right i'm trying to find a word but they might not they might target me as well because i'm a truck driver that's what it is right it may not just be solely for that particular driver which is who they have an, a, a, an issue with but it's just like kind of um an annoyance to be honest so he just pulled up right here i'm pretty sure he's patrolling so, and he stopped at a dead end. So I started recording and then, I don't know if you saw it, but he pulled away. But there's a school close by here. So they do a lot of patrolling. So I think what's going on is those complaints that were being made, that's why they probably started um, looking at us and giving out the tickets and all of that. So now I'm finally getting a bigger picture of what's going around, on around here. It's sad that some truck drivers mess it up for others you know we need the parking it's a it's a bad it's really bad that we have so much parking issue that truck drivers we provide such an essential service to the country to the country to the world right but stuff like this we shouldn't have to worry about we shouldn't have to worry about just parking especially like 
in our area where we live. It's a residential area, yes, but there's several sections that are, that you can t just have the truck, right? If you bobtail in and out, it shouldn't be that big of a deal, but for some reason it is, and it just puts a strain on you daily because who wants to worry about that? Even if I was to say, let me drive to the terminal and drop my truck off, then drive back home, it's a, it's a headache because sometimes after you're done working, you just want to drive straight home. You don't want to drive to a terminal park and then go home. It's a hassle, right? So that's, I don't know what to say. But anyways, today is Friday, August 2nd, and I'm, I'm leaving out really early. I'm waiting, I'm waiting for my, um, my, my pre-trip and everything. I did my walk around and all that. I'm waiting for it to be finished. And then I'm going to head out. So this is probably one of the earliest I've ever left. Other than when I had the Hershey load, right? So I'm leaving. It's right now. It's 11.39 a.m. The reason why I'm leaving so early is because the the, the shipper in um, Port Newark, they closed like 7.30 today. So it's very important that I get out earlier with the traffic and everything. It's better for me to get out early. I only have two loads, right? Um, I need to get out to make sure I'm done before 7.30 or at 7.30 because they close the gates and we're not allowed to park outside, like, like drop any trailers outside anymore, right? So we have to make sure we get everything done in a time, in a certain time frame so I don't lose any loads. I, don't, I wouldn't want to go from two loads to one because of time. So right now I'm going to head to um, Johanna to get my clean trailer and then head down to the port, um, Newark and then start my runs from there. So I'm going to see what time I can be done. Additionally, I have a little weekend thing planned. Um, my friend, uh, I, I haven't seen her in years. I have that gender reveal to go to, and it's so good. That's one of the perks of now being local, knowing that I have the weekend off. I don't have to be like, I'm going to, request time off. I know for a fact I had that that weekend or those two days off Saturday and Sunday. So I need to get back home early to prepare because I have a long drive to North Carolina. And then tomorrow is the event. And then I have Sunday to see if I can meet up with other friends. But that's a perk right there. You know what I'm saying? I haven't seen her in years and it'll be really, really good. Let me check something. Okay, so my pre-trip, like, okay. So um, it would be really good to see to see her. And you know what I'm saying? I want to I wanna talk on why I like local, like pros and cons of local. And I still have to do that one month. So I'm going to drop that for y'all because I'm, I'm, I'm seeing the best ways to make stuff work over here at Indian River, Indian River. Also, how to increase my earning potential because my last check was just, my recent check was, oh, my recent check was amazing for me because you know what? That's a check that I made when I did team driving in high value freight over the road, right? So I see how I can increase my um, my earning potentials here really, really good. And I'm happy about that. But anyways, y'all, I'm about to head out and hopefully the traffic's not bad here because in Philly, going through I-95 North or South, it's always traffic. It's like a bunch of accidents like going on right now. Back to back accidents. I don't I don't know. But I'm about to head out, y'all. So let's see how this day turns out. And um, yeah, I'll catch you on the next part. <laughs> What's up, y'all? So huh, I made it to North Carolina for my friend's um gender reveal, y'all. I haven't seen her in like 10 years. And my other friends, so Rosie and Mahela. I made it after an eight-hour drive, a uh, thunderstorm, because I guess there's some kind of hurricane or something, and we're getting, like, the rain and all that. It was so bad. The visibility was so bad. I had to pull over at one point. Um, I'm in a low low car. Like, I got a rental. So, you know, in rain and all that stuff, like, hydroplaning and all that stuff is possible. But let me just tell you, so... It didn't work out. So even when I woke up early, I I left my house early. I got to um the receiver in Flemington early. All of that, and I still didn't get home until I think after twelve. So after midnight, I think almost twelve thirty, right? I got home, and that would be today is the fourth. So that would have been the third, right? So I got home after midnight. 
And I, I think I got like four hours sleep, y'all. And I had to get up, get the rental, then get all my stuff packed up. I left the house like around maybe 12. And I got here around like after seven. And I could have gotten here a little bit earlier, but the rain and all that stuff, the thunderstorm made it really bad. But either way, it worked out because by the time I got here, my friend just started her gender reveal. But I just say all that to say that in in tanker world or in trucking you just you can never be prepared or have a full a set plan because it just doesn't go that way but either way y'all you know i try to see the positive and stuff like i made it here i made it here safe i got to the gender reveal on time i even slept over i, I had a hotel and don't even get me started y'all so let me tell you in the ditzy land of just trucking it tati aka tatiana because i ain't gonna lie i'm ditzy sometimes but <laughs> Like some say mistakes, I call it ditzy just to be funny or poke jokes at myself. So I booked the hotel um, 11 minutes from my friend house, a nice hotel because I had like a little plan. I had a little photo shoot plan, y'all, that I'm doing for like Independence Day for Jamaica Independence Day. So Check out my Instagram at Just Trucking It Tati if you want to see how all my pictures turned out. I don't get to show this side too much on YouTube, so check it out. So I'm like, I wanted the background, the lighting, only to find out when I get to the hotel, I booked the wrong day. So it's for the third, I booked it for the tenth. So basically, I have a, a room, an additional room here. I had to find the quickest place available, and I, I had to stay at the quality in. Lighting's terrible over here. But either way, it worked out, right? I got my trip done, my little road trip by myself. I'm about to head out now to head back to Darby, which is seven hours and something. And I'm praying that there's no, no accidents, no crazy traffic, no nothing like that that's going to hold me up. So I have to head home. I got to do a little grocery shopping. And then I'll see. I don't know if I can cook. I haven't been able to cook as much as I used to, right? I've been trying to just work out everything uh, when it comes to trucking, doing my regular job, social media, doing my contents, all that stuff, and just keeping up with stuff every day. Life, life stuff and getting enough rest but I don't want to go too much into that conversation that needs to be more of my first month local and how do I feel about local versus OTR there's a lot of pros and cons on both sides but I'm gonna just say right now for me as a local driver a pro right now it's it's obvious me getting to see my friend of 10 years right and it was just at a whims, you know, a whim to just say, okay, I'm coming. She's having a baby and all that. She surprised me with that too, because I didn't even know she was pregnant. I heard about the gender reveal. I'm like, yo, this is the right opportunity. Because every time we try to plan something, we miss it. Everyone's busy. And now that I'm off on the weekend, most of my friends are off on the weekend, right? I'm talking about friends that I haven't seen in a while, friends who are not in the trucking industry. So it helps to have the weekend off where I can just say, okay, I'm not going to work this Saturday. I'm going to take those two days for myself and I'm going to find something to do. But I was so happy I got to come. Like, even though it's a short time, I'm so, I'm so happy I got to be here for her and celebrated that moment with her. I'm not even going to say what she's having. I actually got it right, y'all. I guessed the gender. Do you think you know what it is? Do you think you know what it is? She told me I could share it, but I just wanted to keep that video, you know, to myself. But congrats, Rosie. I'm waiting. I have the video, but I'm waiting for her to post everything before I start jumping, you know, and sharing certain stuff. But y'all, I'm about to head back to... um. Darby, I'm about to go to McDonald's and get some coffee, uh, iced coffee, and just have some stuff in the car with me. It's going to be a long drive, but I'll be all right. That's what we do, right? We drive. But yeah, y'all. So going into this week or my next two weeks, I plan to like work a lot more, do some extra, extra um, work on Saturday because my birthday is coming up. And in Leo fashion, I have a lot of stuff planned for that, right? It's never a done dull moment in Leo world or when I'm, I'm I'm handling my birthday. I take my birthday seriously. That's my little special time of the year, so I don't care. I take it seriously. So I'm about to put in some work so I can get that done in the next two weeks. So let's just see how um let's just see how the next two weeks go. But I always try to carry y'all and I'll take y'all on an adventure. I've been waiting to take you guys on one of my little trips. Um 
and I haven't been able to yet. So the birthday one, I'm going to do y'all a, a solid and bring y'all on that trip with me from beginning to end. I try to keep most stuff on the channel about trucking, but I feel like every now and then I want to throw in, throw in like a little, so the, the Jamaican just came out of me, throw in, throw in. I feel like every now and then I want to throw in a little surprise here and there. So I want to take y'all on my, um, my birthday, solo birthday trip with me. Cause I have like a lot of, I have a lot of bucket list stuff that I, I plan to do and I want to just get it done with. So let's just see how this adventure goes. And hopefully you guys like, um, the extra special surprises that I'm dropping in for you guys. But yeah, y'all, I'm not going to talk y'all to death today. I'll, I'll leave that for tomorrow. I'm tired. I'm about to drive back to um home and then just prepare for a new week. But regardless of what happened, it all worked out. I just try to really be positive as much as I can. There's too much negativity out here. So I'm about to just Scurry on. And as usual, I want to thank you so much for your support. Thank you for watching my channel. Thank you for the motivation, all the love you show me. And like, share, subscribe for all the new watchers. Like, share, and subscribe. It's good to have you here. I'm about to head out, y'all. Peace out. See y'all later. Signing out. Just trucking it, Tati.